sermon in a box, and so I'm going to invite all the kids who are willing and able to come and join me at the front here, and we will see what's in the box, and we will see if we can find some sort of lesson about God's Word or about Jesus from what's in the box this morning. So let's see what we have brought. This is a great sermon in the box, and I think we've done this one before. So what we have in the Sermon in the Box is a slingshot, right? And this is a great toy. I loved, I had a slingshot as a boy, and I loved to try and shoot the squirrels that filled up my yard in South Georgia with my slingshot. I was never successful. I was not a very good aim or a very good shot with the slingshot. Now, obviously, as we have done before, there is a slingshot in the Bible, right? You know the story of David as he battles against Goliath, and in the weakness of his slingshot, God gives him victory over Goliath. But can we do, can we find another slingshot in the Bible? Can we think of another lesson that a slingshot can teach us? Okay, maybe not another slingshot in the Bible, but you know this reminds me of, this reminds me of a psalm. And this psalm is in part about parents and their children. And this psalm says that kids like you, you're like, not so much the rock in a slingshot, but like an arrow that shot from a bow, which is kind of like a slingshot. And the Bible says that in your relationship with your parents, your parents' job is to send you out into the world with the good news about Jesus, knowing God and loving him, and to send you out so that you can live in the world for Jesus, so that you can show others what God has done for you. And so let's take that lesson from the slingshot, not only what God did for David, but also what God wants to do with you, that he wants to send you out into the world with his good news. He wants to send you out into the world to be a light, to show how good and how great he is. That's a great sermon in the box, and I guess we got to send it home.